if there's one man we should be listening to, and you agree with me from your correspondence, when it comes to the science behind man-made, so-called man-made climate change, it's the world-renowned geologist, Professor Ian Plymer. I know I've spoken to him often, and as Professor Plymer himself says, I don't have opinions, I have facts. And as science requires, his facts, quote, are repeatable and validated. Well, some examples. According to Professor Plymer, quote, no one has ever proven that human emissions of carbon dioxide drive global warming. For more than two decades, he said, Professor Plymer, I've been asking scientists for this proof. If proven, it would also have to be shown that natural carbon dioxide emissions, 97% of the total, don't drive global warming. This has never been done. Secondly, Plymer says, since the time of Christ, there have been thousands of predictions about the end of the world. If just one prediction was correct, we'd not be here. All climate predictions in the 20th and 21st centuries were incorrect. Says Professor Plymer, past climates have been cyclic, cyclical. He points to tectonic cycles that last 400 million years, galactic cycles that last 143 million years, orbital cycles that last 100,000, 40,000, 23,000 years, solar cycles that last 11 years, oceanic cycles that last 60 years, and lunar cycles that last 18.6 years. Professor Plymer notes, non-cyclical impacts such as massive explosive volcanoes. He concludes that the quote, many cycles have not changed because human beings are alive today and can't be changed by feelings, ideology or legislation. Next, the professor says, quote, compared to today's global temperature, the planet has been warming for the past 14,400 years, cooling since the Holocene optimum, cooling since the time of Jesus, warming since the time of the Vikings, cooling since medieval times, and warming since the Little Ice Age, which peaked 300 years ago. He says, since the intense use of coal in the Industrial Revolution, some 170 years ago, the planets had three slight warmings, two slight coolings, and one period of stasis. Stasis means nothing happening, inactivity. Quoting Professor Plymer, if human emissions of carbon dioxide drive warming, then there should have been no coolings or stasis. And finally, he says, quote, Australia is already at net zero because the absorption of carbon dioxide by grasslands, crops, rangelands, forests, soils and continental shelf waters is far greater than that from human being emissions, unquote. My final comment, if only our children got this information at school, instead of the green hysteria from numpties like Professor Tim Flannery, who said the rain would never fill our dams, which are now overflowing.